Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to try and do a Christmas inspired look. It's like a month away, but I am trying to get into the spirit. So I'm gonna try and do not too crazy Christmassy, but I'm gonna try kind of like a red and green look maybe, see how that goes. So I started out with the base of my makeup. Um, so I have my foundation, my eyebrows, and I did my contour and highlight. Um, also, if you're wondering what the hell that is, um, I tried curling my hair and I did about the bottom half and then this happened and I just gave up and I decided to straighten my hair instead, but it's really bad. It's like blistering and everything. So that's fun. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and do that and we're just gonna see how it goes. All right, so for the look that I'm going for, I think I'm going to try and do some, some darker reds and kind of orangey tones in the crease of my eye, kind of blending them up. And then I'm going to somehow add some green in, but yeah, I'm going to use the Naked Cherry palette. It's one of my favorites. I really, really like red eyeshadows anyways, so kind of has lots of reds and neutral colors, pinky colors. It's definitely one of my favorite palettes of all time. So I think I'm going to use the color Devilish right here, that kind of dark burgundy shade. I'm going to use that in the crease of my eye, um, kind of blend it up, and go from there. I'm also going to try and make it a little bit darker on the outer corner, just to make it a little bit more dramatic and then I'm just gonna blend out any of the harsh lines I get. So I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and then I'm just gonna I think blend it out. Like a literal clown before I blend this out. Like, who is she? Just clowning around. Okay, the fallout, the fallout in this is a little bit, a little bit there, but that's okay. Um, what's my brush? Just the do. In the past, I used to just use my finger and kind of try to do that. Use a brush to brush away your fallout or else you're just going to smear it all under your eye. I learned that the hard way after smearing it so many times. And then I would try to go back with concealer and fix it. And then I just look like a freak by the end of it. So now I'm just trying to kind of blend out any of those harsh lines so that I don't look like a clown. I find with this palette, I do love it and I don't mind, but I find once you put it, like you put it on and it looks super, super bold, but then once you blend the edges, I don't know if I just blend too much, but then I find it doesn't look as pigmented, I guess, but I still love the colors. It's really pretty. I want to add something else in there to make it more fun i think honestly i think i might go for the glittery one right next to it what's it called young love it's just a really pretty shimmery red i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna try and put that one more in the crease instead of like trying to blend it out Just to add some more sparkle. Why am I 
I'm out of breath right now, like doing my makeup as a freaking workout. So now I'm going to maybe try and use some colors from this ColourPop palette, Golden State of Mine. This palette is in very, very rough shape. I have used it so much. Um, a bunch of these colors I have hit pan. It's pretty ratchet, but I will show you. <laughs> so as you can tell, I really liked it. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to try and use this kind of coppery burnt orange color. It's very sparkly. Well, all these colors have sparkle in them. None of them were matte. Um, but I'm gonna try and use that and fit it in somewhere if I can. I feel like this orange is just too pretty to not put in somewhere. I'm going to put something more shimmery on my lid. Um, so I'm going to use this Milani, what is it called? Hypnotic Nights Holographic Eye Topper. This one is Luster Light. And it's kind of like this gold, champagne-y kind of color. So, and it's just wet. I'm just gonna put that on my lid to just make everything pop more. And I find gold colors like this are always very Christmassy. And I think I'm also gonna put it just on the inner corner here. Okay, so now, I need to tie in the green. So, I'm actually gonna use just the back of the brush I was using. And I think what I'm gonna do is put this under my bottom lash line. Now I think I'm just going to add eyeliner. Okay, so I just put eyeliner on off camera, but putting eyeliner on stresses me out so much, so I had to do that off camera because you never know if it's going to go perfect or if you're going to have one that's like way high up and the other one's just like, you never know. You never know. I'm going to maybe put on false lashes and lipstick and I think that might complete the look. Hello, so my lashes basically just screwed around for about an hour so I wasn't able to um, get that last bit. Um, I have to go out so I figured I would just vlog right now and show you guys the finished look. So I pretty much just put on lipstick, I put on my lashes, and I put on some mascara on the bottom lashes. So yeah, I think this is a fun look. If you're just going to like a party, you're going to something, but you don't want makeup that's gonna be too drastic. So yeah, there's the final product. The lighting sucks because the sun is setting now, so I'm sorry, but hopefully you get the gist. Okay, so this angle is going to be very, very awkward, but we're just going to deal with it. Um, I was going to say something and I don't remember. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little makeup look. Oh, you'll get to see it a little bit better as I'm driving. That's fun. Drivers around here are so stupid. I'm gonna go this way. So, yeah. Who is honking? <laughs> I feel like my brightness is up too much and people are gonna know what I'm doing. I'm scared. I don't know if it's illegal to like vlog while you're driving or not. Maybe. Like what would you even say if you got pulled over? It's actually kind of, I feel like that would just be really awkward. They'd be like, oh, your phone is up on the dash. And then I just have to say, sorry, sir, I was vlogging. 
good excuse. I'd probably get a big fat ticket right then and there. Um, so I'm going, I'm going to work. I booked in a guest today for a spray tan. I kind of, I kind of wish I could have booked more services in today so that I wasn't there for such a short amount of time because spray tans only book in for 20 minutes, but it's fine. It is fine. Who knows, maybe she'll come see me in the future and it'll be a regular guest. That would be nice. But here we go. I'm honestly really craving ice cream, so I might get ice cream after. Yum, 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 yum. I'm actually really feeling my makeup right now. It's kind of cute. I'm freezing and my car is taking forever to heat up. probably gonna judge me for vlogging but it's fine it's really fine I haven't vlogged like this before so I feel like I'm just very self-conscious and aware she's not looking at me so it's fine Woo! it's Metu green arrow means go Is that really my phone? I can't tell. If there's clunking throughout this whole video, I'm so sorry. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. I have the Pink Panther song stuck in my head. The theme song. I don't think I've actually ever seen that in my life, but it's stuck in my head. I don't know if you guys care or not, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys that lately I've been having such weird dreams. I don't know if anyone can relate to this, but I feel like I feel like I'll have a period of time where I dream like every night and then it'll just stop and I won't dream for like months. And then it'll happen again where I just have dreams every single night. And they're so weird and random probably like most people's dreams but it's just it's just weird how I can go so long without having a single dream and then I'll have them every night for like a week or two I don't know it's just they kind of freak me out when I like think too much about dreams I'm like it's kind of weird So I 
hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm hoping to make more videos like this coming up. I can't English today. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, give me any feedback if you are somebody that's watching this. Stay tuned for more videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!